algos. It sounds like a cliché to speak of the importance and difficulty of truly getting to know ourselves. But both are true. Getting to know yourself requires sustained work, but, I believe, it is crucial to a sense of fulfillment. The closer you are to your deep-rooted truisms, the more aligned your life and actions will be with a life that truly matches you. While, on the contrary, if you are unfamiliar with your own idiosyncrasies, you can't be truly authentic. Even when you think you are being yourself, it may just be a construction based on outside influences. Living a life without self-knowledge leads to confusion and misery. Truly knowing yourself is the essence of it all. The essence of finding love, the essence of your career, the essence of your purpose, the essence of all your relationships, the essence of your emotions, the essence of your life, and it is about to become even more indispensable. Algorithms, as they exist now, are here to get to know us. They want to customize our virtual interactions, serve us with corresponding interests, address us with suitable ads, show us the right content, manipulate us to the best of their ability into consumption, etc. They already have a big say in the influences we are exposed to daily. The brands that represent our personas, the people we date or get to know, the books we choose, the videos we watch, the people whose lives we are exposed to, and thus compare ours to, or whose opinions we absorb, to name just a few. These algorithms are already molding us beyond what we can perceive. There's a morbid irony to this. The less self-aware you are, the more you allow the algorithms to define you without your realization. Most of the world's population fits this category. The question then becomes, to what extent is the creation of culture truly up to us? To what extent is a democracy truly a democracy? These algorithms get under our skin and into our subconscious by processing various inputs such as our geolocation at all times, our past purchases, our seat codes, our preferences, the apps we engage with, our social media behavior, the movies we watch and don't watch, and etc. And soon enough, more data is going to be accessed. Algorithms will be able to track the direction of your eyes, what you look at, what engages you, your attention span, maybe they'll have access to biometrical data too, your health condition. Perhaps algorithms will soon be able to read our facial expressions and emotional reactions in ways more precise than what we are able to detect in ourselves. With a crossover analysis of our reactions and your biometrical information like dopamine release or cortisol levels, new data would be created like your emotions towards certain things, information you might not be conscious of. In other words, if you don't have a tight relationship with yourself, you risk losing your genuine identity. Algorithms will know you better than you know yourself, and you will therefore become perfectly moldable human clay. So. The importance of our future doesn't depend on the technical skills of future generations. Most academic fields will be pointless in the future as human skills will be easily replaced by robotics. The skills we should be cultivating are philosophy, psychology, art appreciation, consciousness, emotional intelligence, etc. The approach we each take might also be different. Some might arrive by reading, others by writing or journaling, others by using creative outlets, others through conversation and active listening, others by pursuing the practice of meditation, but most, I suspect, will heighten self-awareness through a combination of these. It is not a gloomy future that I'm presenting to you. It is, though, an uncertain one. In my opinion, it has the potential to be magnificent. Imagine having equal access to great healthcare, isn't that the underlying needed potential to achieving anything? Health? I think we will not be needed for mechanical work. And in consequence, humans will be able to refocus on the deepest meanings of life. Sounds glittering to me. It might sound dreadful to the ones lost in shallowness. And that's why the paradigm has to change in advance. The focus within has to be sown. We don't make a better world by huge actions. We make a better world by being the best version of ourselves we can and sharing it.
hey humans how are you i hope you are well and i hope you're not covered in snow like my brooklyn street is right now if you're new to my channel let me introduce myself i'm cheojas i'm an international new york based oil painter creating surrealist compositions that provoke philosophical reflections. So I started my art journey a little bit over a year now and I've been documenting and sharing the whole process with you guys. If you're not new, then welcome back and I really appreciate you. Today we'll be talking about this painting. This is the third and last painting of my Freedom Through Painting collection. The first one was about freedom in relation to possessiveness, and relationships, I guess. The second one was about the freedom of balance. There's videos of both paintings, process and explanations. So if you want, you can go and check them out. And then there's this one that is titled Algos and it's about the freedom of willpower in a way that I think it's very important to point out in the 21st century. Hopefully you already know what I'm talking about or what I mean with this after listening to the spoken words in the beginning of this video but I will talk about it some more in a little bit. But first I want to tackle some of the technical aspects of the painting. It took me a total of 21 days to complete this painting, painting about three hours a day. This is a museum profile 30 by 40 inches stretched canvas. My medium was oil paints and I used a little bit of liquid too to thin them out a bit and also accelerate the drying time. And finally, I varnished it like a week after completion using Gambar from Gambling. With other varnishes, you have to wait like months, probably about three months to be able to varnish an old painting. But with Gambar from Gambling, you just have to wait for it to be dry to touch and then you can varnish it. So in about a week, I was able to varnish it. This painting was in collaboration with Lizzie. I'll drop her link, Instagram link, in the description below. She is also an artist and she does cosplay. Really, really good. And she's also a sweetheart and stunning. So check her out. She created for me the photo reference of the angel, the crying angel, that's her. And is literally exactly what I needed to portray the concept of this painting. So thank you so much. I completely changed her colors, of course, and also tattooed her a little bit more so that she would fit into my sci-fi cyberpunk aesthetic I was going for this painting. Also, I, this painting has a very like graphic style, which I was very scared about because I didn't know if it was like artsy or painterly enough. And also I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull it off, but it's worth it. And also I kind of always try to do what I'm scared of doing. Again, it's, it portrays, it just like embodies my concept better this way. Just like this decadent um, neon city in the background does. And now back to the concept. So I believe we are about to lose one of the most important freedoms of all, our willpower and choices. These are already not free. They are greatly influenced by a lot of things like our culture, our families, the media, and a lot of more stuff. But we still have like our idiosyncrasies. That's how you say that? Idiosyncrasies. <laughs> within that, within them, these choices and the willpower. Well, now more than ever, we have to work in becoming as self-aware as possible, completely conscious about those authentic features of ours, maybe by journaling or reflecting on meditating, talking, therapy, all of them, a combination of them, or however it looks for you. We generally aren't very self-aware, and I think it's very important. Maybe the most important thing to be successful or to feel fulfilled. It is actually my why to provoke reflections in order to inspire self-awareness and therefore empathy too. That's the purpose behind everything I do. And hopefully one day I will. Anyways, so this will be especially important in the near future now algorithms use our input to get to know us 
so then they can serve us with customized ads content products etc so they're not able to know us better than we do ourselves but soon enough they will have way more information and way more inputs than our geolocation our past purchases and maybe listening to our conversations they will be able to do things like track our eye movement read our face expressions um, maybe they will have some like biometric data too, access to that and with advanced high processing systems they will be able to know a whole lot about us and if we're not conscious and aware self-aware enough they'll probably be able to know more about more about us than we even do and if that's the case our willpower and choices will be ruined because then they will be perfectly able to manipulate us into forming our opinions and we will be completely unconscious of this we will think these choices are actually ours we're not going to be able to realize how they got under our train of thoughts and how we got into those choices influenced by what they decide to expose us to based on everything that they know about us so please do the work get to know you create a strong relationship with yourself it is the most important relationship anyways that you'll ever have and after all it is the best skill you can develop soon enough most of the other skills if not all of them will be replaceable and therefore replaced by technology and that's the concept behind my painting and i hope you liked watching the process and listening to me rumble about it a little bit if you did please give this video a like if you have any questions or critiques or whatever please leave them in the comments below and subscribe if you want to get notified of my upcoming videos i'm already starting with my new painting for my new collection that's going to be about cows so i'm working on that already i started yesterday and i also created merch with this painting and you can find the link to my store where all of that is in the link in the link in the description below <laughs> and yeah that's it from me today have a good day and see you next time guys bye